So how can you perform the initial load? You can actually use the database native utilities like for Oracle you can create table as and then you use database links in order to create the tables or you can use data bomb utility SQL loader Armin duplicate etc and also in case uh, so initial load can only be performed using database native utilities when the source and target are of same vendor but the problem is what if the source and target are of different vendors so you need to use the initial load extract and replicate which is provided by golden gate so you can use golden gate special extract these are known as special extract or you also call them as initial load extract and replicate process to perform the initial load if you remember guys last time i was telling you that there is a way in golden gate you can actually extract the data directly into flat files or csv files yes using golden gate what you can do is uh, you can use this keyword format as key okay so you can extract data into ascii text files these flat files then can be used by the database utility on target machine to load data directly without setting up initial load replicate process in some cases you when you don't want to set up the initial load extract and replicate then you can use this method to export the data onto flat files then use the database utilities provided by the respective vendor in order to load the data from those flat files like in oracle you can use sql loader utility to use ascii flat files in order to load data on target but again i have never tried this i mentioned this earlier right i would see if you are using golden gate to export into ascii files just an example okay so if you are using golden gate to export the data into csv files so that means you already have golden gate license correct so why do you need to put it into flat files then use another utility to load the data you will, you can directly configure initial load extract and replicate so don't worry we are not going to see this one this is just a special case i have put it onto the slide so what we are going to learn in our activity we are going to see two activities the first one is how to perform initial load and set up change synchronization for single table so this activity is like for testing purpose just for you to understand how things work okay the first activity will give you an idea the second activity is what and how it is done in real time okay so the first one is a test like we are just performing tests to understand things the second one is where you will understand how initial load and change synchronization setup is done in real time okay so these are the two activities which we are going to see right now i would request you guys to please practice both both of these activities because it is really important to understand how things work in real time